Hi, I'm Sarah Cook. I'm the owner of Montenegro Pulse. I have an online business with Solo Build It, which has allowed me to be a stay-at-home mum, to renovate my house and to travel the world. And this is my story. Sarah had always wanted to be financially independent. Raised in New Zealand, she and her husband Savo had two false starts. First, with a business that they really didn't enjoy, and second, with one that effectively bought them a job. Nothing worked, until they returned to Savo's home country in Montenegro, and Sarah discovered Solo Build It in 2013. The business has allowed me to be there whenever my son is sick, I was there for his first steps. I was there for his first words. I've been there for him for all those important milestones that many people miss. And for me, that's absolutely priceless. Hello, I'm Paul Buckingham, roving ambassador for Solo Build It. Sarah's story doesn't just resonate for a stay-at-home mum or dad who wants to improve financial well-being and add an extra dimension to their life. If you have a site already and want to earn more effectively, then her monetization experience is a lesson for any online business owner. Once you get that first dollar, then you realize it's just a numbers game. We'll discover Sarah's solo builder journey and the powerful difference between doing something you love instead of something you hate right after this. Well, first of all, we tried Amway, which was horrible because with that kind of scheme, you're always trying to sell to your friends and family. Mm. And, you know, I'm pretty soon people start avoiding you because you're always trying to sell them something. (laughs) Uh, And it's just it's just hard slog. You know, it's not pleasant. You basically, you know, you want to enjoy what you're doing. And then we bought into this franchise which was a huge investment and it was in, we had two shops and two shopping malls. Um, Gosh. Yeah. And the overheads were huge. The time commitment was huge. Shopping malls in New Zealand are closed for three days a year. And we realized really that we'd bought ourselves a job because every time our revenue went up, our uh, rent went up. So oh. you're stuck on this treadmill of working for the franchisor, working for the shopping mall, working to pay your staff, and you get whatever's left over at the end, which is typically not a lot. You know, it's a stark contrast with your life now in Montenegro and your growing online business with Solo Build It. Yeah, the business gives me a whole different lifestyle to what I would have had if I didn't have it. If I didn't have the business, I would have had to go back to work, which um, was 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then uh, my son would have grown up basically with with somebody else, with a carer. The business has allowed me to be there whenever my son is sick. I was there for his first steps. I was there for his first words. Um, You know, I've been there for him for all those important milestones that many people miss. And For me, that's absolutely priceless. That's the biggest gift that this business had given me. And on the other side, financially, um, the business has paid to renovate our house. It's paid for us to come back to New Zealand and visit family every year. Really important things that we're really grateful for. So when you look at it, if you look at it as a balance sheet, you're really talking about the quality of your life as you, as Sarah, by yourself. Then there's the quality of your life with your family. Then there's the quality of your life with the financial improvements you've been able to make and also to come back to New Zealand to visit your family. I mean, that's that's all pretty significant and not something that you can do, you know, with a job that is actually requiring your hourly time every day. Yes, yes. And and I should mention also that it's given me an identity outside of just being a mother. You know, being a stay-at-home mother is is hard work, um, but it's often boring work as well for some people, and I'm one of those people. And for me, this has given me something intellectually stimulating 
and yeah. and it's given me my own identity and freedom. So that's something that's really important to me. So how did you know that a Montenegro travel site could work? Because really, you were traveling blind. Well, yeah, you are, but not with Solo Build It in a way. <laughs> because I had looked into other kind of online business courses at the same time as I was thinking about Solo Build It. Um, and, and a lot of them were, you know, very kind of wishy-washy. But when you get into Solo Build It, you can see that you've got this thing called Brainstormer and you put in your idea, let's say Montenegro, and you can see the numbers and you can see off the bat fairly quickly, will it work or, or won't it? Whether, it, you know, Solo Build It gives you it in plain English and black and white, will it fall between this number and this number and gives you the way to work out whether this is a viable or idea or not before you even invest any money or build anything. The idea of a tourism niche is, is obviously very appealing and it'd be hard to think why you wouldn't ever want to do it. But were you ever daunted by the competition? Yes. Yes, it's easy to compare with other websites and and get daunted. But I always remember what Ken says. He said, put your blinkers on and just keep building. And that's what you've got to do and get to know your audience, connect with your audience and just keep going. Because at the end of the day, um, I like to think of myself as contributing to the conversation about Montenegro. I'm not the one and only and maybe my viewpoints aren't going to be for everybody. So I'm contributing my thoughts, my ideas, my perspective, but I don't have to be the only voice in the niche. That's really nicely put, but nevertheless, you do need to be fairly high up the search engine rankings in order to be found to be able to make a contribution with your voice. How have you gone about being able to do that? Following the action guide really kind of makes it a bit of a no-brainer in a way. You know, you, you write your page, of course you do it as well as you can and then you follow the steps and that way it'll rank. Can you give me an idea of, of how your traffic has grown steadily and where it is now? It's quite seasonal so in the summer months I have higher traffic and it varies at the moment anywhere between 11 and 40,000 visitors a month. Of course I'm working on growing it <laughs> as, as we do but when I think about 40,000 people it's good. So how does that fit in then with your lifestyle? Because, you know, it would be easy to think that you are working as hard as you might have with a franchise, but, you know, you must have other things going on in your life that this needs to fit around. So it's been very part-time. Now I do it when my son is at kindergarten in the mornings mm -hmm. and the rest of the time I'm free. Right. So given that work pattern, we haven't talked very much about your monetization program. Could you talk about, first of all, when you started monetizing, when you first started doing it in, in the sequence of, of the development of the site, and also how you've gone about doing it? Yeah, sure. Um, well, first I started out writing a whole lot of information pages. Um, I followed the action guide and wrote my 20 to 30 pages first before I started monetizing. However, I had the ideas for how I was going to monetize before I'd started building because that's also in the action guide where you write out your monetization plan. Um, so I started, I have a whole, I have some friends from the tourism industry who run tours in Montenegro. And so I started out contacting them and saying, hey, can I offer your tours to my visitors? And if somebody books, you know, you'll give me a commission. So it was that personal affiliate model um, with them. And, and that worked. That got me started. So um, I knew these people personally. I was really happy recommending their tours. I'd done a lot of them myself. And I knew that my customers were going to get 
really good service. So that worked and still works very well. And as time's gone on, I've joined affiliate programs like booking.com, Viata, Get Your Guide, who offer tours in Montenegro now. I kind of get revenue from a whole bunch of places, which is really important to me. Um, I've diversified it. So what sort of role do your existing tourism operators have in your diversification strategy? They say, oh, you know, you... Every time I Google something about Montenegro, your site comes up. And so, and they're like, I don't know how you do it, but it's always there. So I told my friend about you, they run such and such a tour and you should, you should go and see them. And I told them all about you. So, yeah. So in that way, I've now, it's kind of word of mouth through partners. And that's how I find new partners who are offering new tours and new activities and yeah. You know, you seem to be relying on an incredible amount of trust with the tour operators that you work personally with because there's no tracking links. There's no way of knowing whether they've made a sale or not. Yes, there is. But generally, I have a great relationship with these people. They don't want to lose business from me. They value what they're getting from me and I value from what I'm getting from them. And I've never had a problem with them, with somebody not paying so, so yeah, so it's worked out fantastically and I've made a lot of friends that way yeah. as well. It's just, it's just a really nice business to be in. So there you have it. Everyone who uses Solo Builder's rock solid support system is a real person, like Sarah, not an actor like you see in the TV ads. If improving your online presence Building an existing site perhaps to an online business or just starting out new is on your mind, then please subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can do that by clicking the button directly under the video here. And once you have, click the little bell that appears, which will make sure that you're kept up to date on when the new releases occur. Thank you for watching.